In this feature video, we're going to look at GDTF, or General Device Type Format, and how that integrates with Magic Cube. So if you've not come across GDTF before, I'm going to start by going across to the GDTF Share website, as you can see here. Now here on the GDTF Share website, there's a bit of an about about what it's about, etc., and where it's come from. Very simply, GDTF files, General Device Type Format files, uh, they're fixture files, or as we call them in Magic Cube, head files. And the idea is that they're universal head files. They work with lighting consoles, CAD packages, and visualizers. And you can see here, uh, supported by many different companies. Now, originally, uh, the concept put together by Roby Vectorworks and MA, but you can see now there's many manufacturers behind it, including us at Campsys. So what do you find on the GDTF Share website? Well, if we go over back to the home page, uh, I've already created an account and logged in here, but you can create a free account and log in yourself, and we go to the Share. You can see all of the different manufacturers that are supporting GDTF already. Now, you're going to see here a list of uh, fixtures or heads, files here. Uh, so we can go down and you can see all of these different head files in the library, a bit like looking at a head file uh, or a library file within our MagicQ software. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find the Show a Professional folder here. And you can see so far, we've got a few fixtures in the library. I've already downloaded some of these already, which I'm going to show you how you can import these into MagicQ later. So the idea here being the same GDTF file could be used in the MagicQ software, could be used in Capture, it could be used in WYSIWYG, etc., and can be taken between all the different console visualizer CAD packages that support GDTF. So are you looking for a head file? You don't need to build it yourself on the console. If it's in GDTF share, you take it straight from the share and you load it into MagicQ. So I'm going to go down now and find, say, a Roby file. So if we find uh, Roby Lighting here, and we look through their fixture list, you can see we've got a good number of their fixtures in the share, and we're going to take something like the Roby Pointy fixture. So if I go down here, hit uh, Roby Robin Pointy, you can see it then takes me to show me the information about that fixture. So it tells me that that has uh, 3D data there. It's been tested by someone at Roby, so we know it's probably a good fixture. Now, GDTF files can be user created as well, and users can create their own files in the builder uh, and add them to the database as well. And of course, you can filter the GDTF share website between manufacturer and user files on there. And you can see information that, about the mode. So you can see there's three modes of this fixture and the revision history, what changed uh, through any updates of that. At the top here then, I've got my option to download that file. So I'm gonna hit download on that file. I've now downloaded my GDTF file and I'm ready to load that into Magic Cube. Now, if I was taking this to a Magic Cube console, I would take that GDTF file, I'd copy it to a USB drive, and simply connect it to a console. As I'm on PC here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that file from my Downloads folder into my Magic Cube Show folder. So I've gone to my Downloads here, I'm just going to cut that file, go to my Documents, go to my Magic Cube folder, go into my Show folder. Uh, same on Mac, if you're on Mac as well, just go Documents, uh, and go into your Magic Queue and into the show folder and paste that GDTF file there. And of course, I already tested that earlier, so I'm just going to replace that file in there. In my show folder, I've now pasted in this GDTF file. I'm now going to go into Magic Queue here and show you how you use that file on a Magic Queue system. Now, again, if I was on a Magic Queue console, I would go to my file manager, I'd go to USB drive, and of course I'd see the USB drive plugged in, and I'd simply click on the file. Now, because I'm on PC, same on Mac as well, I put that file in my show folder, so I'm going to go to the hard drive view. I'm going to sort it by date here, and you can see at the top here, there's my Roby Lighting uh, Robin Pointy fixture. Now, all I do is I simply click on that file, and it asks me to choose the mode I'd like to use, so I'm going to hit mode 1. And it's now going to import that GDTF file as a head file into Magic Cube. Now, you can see here it's given me five warnings. I'm not particularly worried about those at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to click on the box and I'll get rid of it. You can see it's now also dropped me into the patch window. So by clicking on it in File Manager, it's selected that fixture ready for me to patch it. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to go into our head editor. And you can see it's given it a name. It's a Roby Pointy. Uh, and you'll see that it's called G Mode there. And you'll see that for all GDTF files, it has a G and a dash there, just to differentiate, and that's a GDTF file and not one of our head files in built to our library. So if I go to the channels view in the head editor, you can see it's bought in all the channels of that fixture. You can see it's then mapped them to our usual magic queue attributes. So I've got pan on pan, tilt on tilt, etc., uh, dimmer on intensity, zoom on zoom. So it's got all that mapping for us. 
but it's also even set things like my locate and default values. So it's created that based off the values in the GDTF share library. Uh, you can see now we've got obviously a locate of uh, pan and tilt at 1 to 8, 50-50. Uh, we've got things like dimmer going to locate to full, but defaulting off, the usuals we'd have in Magic Queue. If we go to ranges view, it's brought in all the ranges. They all exist as part of GDTF as well. So you can see here things like uh, colors, uh, controls for resets, etc. They're all there. All the different channel ranges all exist and have been bought in. And if we go to palettes views there, you can see there's no palettes at the moment because we normally add these ourselves based on our kind of stock 10 palettes. So you'll see there's no default color palettes at the moment, but you can very easily add these, which we can look at later on. So I've just gone in the head editor view that, yes, I'm happy with that fixture, how it's come in. So I can now close the head editor and when I'm ready to go ahead and patch some of those fixtures. And you can see they're now patched in Magic Queue, just like a normal fixture. And of course, you can save your show file and you could take that show from console to console and any fixtures in that file or heads within that file, including your GDTF files, because it's now a head file, you can validate it to Magic Queue, would come with the show. So save the show, take the show around. You don't need to worry about taking your GDTF files separately with you. They're part of the show file as head files now. And just to prove they're working, if I locate, I can pan, tilt, etc., move those fixtures forward and prove we have control over those. Now, what exactly is in a GDTF file then? Well, it's a head file, as we'd commonly call it in Magic Queue, and it contains all of our fixture data. So if we go back to the GDTF share website here, and we go to the builder over here, here's where you can create your own files, your own GDTF files. Now, you can start by taking one that already exists. So I'm just gonna take uh, the one that I downloaded, that Roby file here. So if I sort by modified here, I grab my Roby file and I drop it over here. That's going to put it into our GDTF fixture builder. And you can see this type of information that's stored in the GDTF file now. So you can see it's, of course, got the fixture name and details. It's got things like RVM information. And again, we use that if we bring that file into Magic Queue. We take all the RDM data from that as well. It's got things like geometry, obviously very useful for visualizers. It's got uh, descriptions uh, for different attributes, etc. Uh, wheels, if it's got color, gobo, etc. wheels, all of the icons exist, exist in GDTF for those. So again, when you brought that file into Magic Queue, you saw it brought in all of the ranges with all the icons straight from a GDTF file. And of course, most importantly for us as a lighting console, it's got all the DMX modes and channel data broken down in there. So GDTF files contain things like, if we go into gobos, uh, all the different gobos, the ranges, and we've already seen that it's got the wheels in there for them as well. And if it's got any macros, it'll have those in there. Macros could be things like your lamp on, lamp off type macros. So uh, you can see you can uh, take fixtures that already exist. You can drop them into the builder. You can customize them for your own. Uh, and you can upload those to the share yourself. So that's an introduction to what we're doing with GDTF files and using those within Magic Queue at the moment.